Hi guys, welcome back to my Pandora no moment. Uh, my name is Ilona and today we are going to talk about my completed birthstone rings collection or birthday bloom. Um, that's how I call them too. They have two names, one European name and one I think US name. So the birthday blooms or um, birthstone bloom rings i finally got them um, complete and i'm gonna show them all to you um let's make this also a next uh 10 to 20 well 22 um in this case um rings i showed you guys already my first 10 rings so let's make this also a uh, 10 to 22 um, ring collection so let's get started um, first is the gorgeous red garnet and this is the January one and um, it's very pretty and this is how it looks on So, this is the January with the red garnet. I all bought these in the sale, by the way. So, I didn't pay full price for any of these rings. Next is the February. And this is the purple or lavender um, amethyst. And... Um, I really love it. I love this color. I um, wear it together with my amethyst um, flower ring. Um, forgot the name there. But yeah, gorgeous piece as well. Then comes March. And March is, what's the stone called? I know how it's called, but. I'm so, I'm easily, um, uh, my memory is easily uh, forgetting things. March is, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, it's called the Acra Marine. Um, it can be a variety of colors. This one is a light greenish um color um, I also know people have a, a slight darker but all in all it's a beauty so it all fits my index finger and my middle finger so it's a nice light color and um, this is the April one, and the April one is a rock crystal. Um, it's very gorgeous. Some um, think um, it's a boring color, but you can combine them with each and every ring. Um, for example, I wear this crystal rock um, with the garnet together. I stack them like, like so. So you have a beautiful combination there, or um, you can put other colors as well. But um, this is the April with the rock crystal. And um, then May, I believe it's the chrysophrase or chrysophrase not sure how you pronounce it right um, this one is a bright green uh, color it can be darker it can um, it's also a variety of colors with um, some are lighter some are darker but I like this color very much it's not so um, not so much oxidized this one 
it can um, be different from your other um, rings as well but yeah i like it i'm stacking this most of the time with the other two rings i'm gonna show you in a bit and wear it like this so that's the birthstone ring of may and then we have the june and the june one is a gray moonstone i love moonstones by the way this is the only ring i um, bought in another another there i go again in a different um, size um, i really would love to find one someday a gray moonstone in a size 56 because all of my birthstone rings are a size 56 um yeah so this is the only one um where the size is different but hey i got them all right i got all the birthday uh, bloom rings so yeah this is the gray uh, moonstone so next um is the orange carnelian and this is the birthstone for july and i also got a bright color of orange it also can you know make a difference um, in color some are darker orange or even lighter light orange i think i got a gorgeous piece there really bright and this one is more oxidized so yeah it's a gorgeous color and next we are going to august and the august one has a green peridot i think peridot is beautiful it's a lighter oxidation on this one as well. It, it's, it is oxidized, but slightly. Um, I love this green peridot. I think it's so gorgeous, just as gorgeous as the amethyst. So yeah. And then we get the lapis lazuli and it's from september it is not as oxidized but i love it and the blue is very blue so this is how it looks so this was the september one the lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli now we are going to october and october has the pink opal now mine was darker when i bought it but it so happens that the pink opals just like the aquamarine can change color um, if you wear them often and you know the sunlight is uh, shining on your ring they can slightly become a lighter pink i even saw some photos where the pink opal one was just <laughs> a white color so if you want to buy a pink opal one um, then um, remember it can be, um, you know, um, get a different color as you wear it. So, yeah. So, this is the November one. It has a citron, a yellow citron. Now, this one is um, a bit... How do you say it? It's not yellow, yellow. 
it's a light transparent yellow. I think that's the right word for it. So it's just how the light falls on this ring and um, it's also a gorgeous piece. So the last one is the one from December and this is the turquoise. I love the turquoise, it's very pretty and um, yeah. It makes also a nice stack with my September one. And then I wear it like this. And you have a pretty blue stack. So yeah. These are my completed rings. My birthday bloom rings or birthstone rings. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I finally got them completed. I whoops. Sorry there. <laughs> <laughs> Can happen, right? So yeah, I'm very happy I got them all together. I it took me years to um collect these and got them complete. So I really want this one. If I can find the grey moonstone in the size um 56, then I will be purchasing this um again. So, yeah, that's it for today. Um, my Pandora of the Day is my loving bracelet with um, all the hearts. Um, no rings there today. Um, my Pandora rings. Um, my Pandora bangle stack. Open bangle. Um, my essence bangle and my uh, open essence bangle. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much, uh, new subscribers and uh, old subscribers as well. So, see you next time and um, stay positive. Bye. <laughs>